Pisces. All right, Pisces. Oh my goodness. So uh, for me, Gemini is definitely, we've got the lover's card here. So Gemini is of great importance, I feel. And we've got the Queen of Swords, the other signs for that. And the Page of Swords is Aquarius and Libra. And then the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now, for the moon, for me, represents uh, you and also the possibility of cancer. So, I, you know, I feel like I can't help and ignore that. Yes, the lovers can mean the lover, the lovers. And we do have three people, three core cards. And I feel like there's a need to see things from a different perspective, a different point of view. I also feel that, yes, for somebody, there may be a situation regarding infidelity. But I'm not quite that. That's definitely in the cards here. But what's also in the cards is I feel like there is a third person could be like a motherly figure, grandmotherly figure, or the possibility of an in-law. And I feel like she, it could be a male, but I feel it's coming across, especially with these two queens here as a female, where uh feel like they're interfering with something that's developing or that is moving forward or that you would like to move forward. And so this could definitely be in the workplace, uh, but I feel it more in love. And I feel that somebody, it could possibly, now the Page of Swords can represent a child, it can represent a messenger, but it could definitely also uh, represent a newer relationship because the energy is new. It's it's. I don't see it necessarily as younger, but younger in the terms of it being a newly formed relationship. And I feel that some of you are battling some fears or anxiety regarding a third person. And it's coming across possibly that it could be with the Queen of Swords here, like a motherly figure for this person. And, um, you know, she may or he may look at who you're wanting to date as still their child, even though they could be, you know, 18, 21 or older. But I feel like they have a difficult time letting go, like of not seeing, like, like they don't want to acknowledge that you could be dating their son or their daughter because, you know, that makes them feel out of control or uh, older, in some way. Um, so I feel like quite a few of you have a big decision to make. Now, I'm getting that this decision may be made by, if this is a love relationship, by somebody else, by the person that you're dating, because there's an influence of another woman. So this could still be a motherly, grandmotherly, an aunt figure, but it may be another female that is in the picture, is how it's coming across. Now, for some of you, you know, this could be also that you are dealing with somebody from your past. So it could be that something is coming in or somebody is coming in that is new by the end of May, the May 31st, around there. But you may not be ready because I feel like there's somebody from your past that returns or you can't stop thinking about or they can't stop thinking about you. So... um. 
even though you may have ended something, I feel like they're having a hard time letting go. And so you may not be together. You may be separated, but I, f I do feel like there's some difficulties with that. Now, the other thing that I'm picking up, feel like there is a possibly something in terms of I'm getting pregnancy and I'm getting also marriage. Now, this is coming across possibly as a shotgun marriage or shotgun wedding. Now, if this is correct, I believe that interpretation basically means somebody is pregnant and they want to hurry and get married before they're showing or maybe for other people know. But I do feel like there are secrets. And with these secrets next to the lover's card, there is something that is being secretive. And I feel like somebody is possibly watching, <laughs> you know, like they're trying to get a different perspective or look at things. I, I just get the feeling like somebody is looking over their shoulder, maybe observing what's going on. So what you think might be secretive or kind of in the dark, um, may not be that much in the dark is, is what I want to say. But I really feel that there's a time to heal and let go of the past as much as you possibly can. There could also be, sometimes I see the Queen of Swords as a legal issue or as a judge, so there may be something going on where you're waiting to hear from the court system or uh, something like that. I also feel that there's something coming down possibly. I feel like there may be something uh, possibly drug related is what it's coming across. So I don't know if it's just too much drinking or maybe there's an adjustment in drugs. And when I say drugs, it doesn't have to be recreational drugs. It can be pharmaceutical drugs also. Because uh, I feel like there's an adjustment in blood pressure medicine or uh, something like that. Um, yeah, that's that's how it's coming across to me. But... You know, this could also be somebody that is a boss. They may be, or one of these, where um, there's a, a situation in terms of waiting to hear news of whether or not you got the job. Could also be that you're up against maybe somebody newer in, I'm sorry, hitting the camera there, somebody newer in the firm or in the company. There's new energy coming in and they're deciding whether or not you get the position or somebody else that's um, newer and has um, a different outlook on, this, on, on the job or what um, can help, you know, Things become more successful or, or the company be more successful. They may just want some newer energy is what I'm getting. But I am getting something about a motherly figure that I feel is important and uh, for somebody. And I feel like it may be a situation regarding uh, love in terms of Things unresolved from the past or lack of communication or difficulties, uh, possibly forgiveness. and um, But I also feel like it could be communication on the other side is another way that this is coming um, across to me. But I, I do feel that um, for some, yes, it is regarding... The lovers, and since we do have three people, there's a decision and in love. For others, it could be back to the work situation. And I also feel like it could be some relatives or family members where somebody is feeling like on the outside or do you have their back? Um, but... You know, for others with these swords, it has a lot to do with communication. And I, I think that some of you, I'm getting past love. 
So this could definitely be somebody, you know, that you may be re- re- uh, figuring out some abilities that you have to be able to communicate with the other side. And we've got Archangel Raphael here. Now, often with the purple, I do sometimes think of Archangel Michael, but I feel like there's communication and I would not be surprised if some of you are hearing things um, uh, like audiology or what uh, it's Claire audience. Thank you where you're beginning to expand and connect. I feel like I see kind of an antenna where you're able to communicate more clearly. And that is also growing. Now, I do feel that some of you may be traveling. And I feel like this is most likely either by vehicle or by air. And it could mean that you meet somebody while traveling, whether it's for work or pleasure or like in the United States, it is Memorial Day. So there's family gatherings uh, is is um, something else that I'm feeling. But um, also I'm getting that there may be a situation where somebody is being like, I feel like there could be lab results. I feel like this is on a female and it may have something to do with um, biopsy on a female and somebody's waiting to get the test results. They're waiting to hear an announcement or, you know, a decision in terms of, do I have surgery? Do I not? Am I okay? Do I need just an ablation or something like that done? So I feel like somebody is also further investigating uh, the growth or something of some cells. Now, you will know if this applies to you. The, I don't feel like this is a surprise. This is something that's been ongoing. So I want to make that clear. But, and for others, I feel like some of you with this legal situation does go back to a marriage. And uh, some of you may be not wanting to share with somebody that you are pregnant, like you're wanting to hide it. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting, or you don't want a lot of people to know. So, you know, or you're going kind of back and forth, back and forth with this relationship, and maybe that's why you're not sure if you want to tell the person. But... I, you know, when I get the moon and uh, discovery, you know, somebody learns something, whether it's you or somebody learns something about you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon and take care. All right. Bye.